Right, morning, Athano. Welcome to the final day of the New Zealand Mixed uh, Nationals Championships here at Nepal Waitakere. It's been an exciting four days and it all comes to a conclusion today. So we're first up we've got the C grade final here on court one. Uh, it's a battle between Kantis Monaco, who were the leaders after pool play, versus Natao Tokoro. Um, it should be a fantastic game. We've got two teams full of experience, splattered with a little bit of youth as well, and both have performed very, very well throughout the week. Uh, your commentators for today, so introducing myself, my name's Zach Middleton. Normally known in the umpiring realms, but today I thought, well this week I thought I'd give Lang a go. It's been about 10 or 11 years and the body's pretty sore for it, but I've thoroughly enjoyed my time. Um, and I'm joining uh, Zach as well. This is Mike here from New Zealand Defence Forces. I'm looking forward to a great, epic battle between two great teams. It should be an exciting match today. Thank you. Yeah, having played us alongside this grade all week, it's the first two days ever with us at Auckland Netball, it's a very closely contested grade, very high level. A lot of these teams should be in higher grades, but by the fact that they're quite new into this competition, they've had to start in this particular grade. Um, but it has made for some exciting battles, um, and this one will be no different. As the teams walk out onto court, we'll start by introducing the three umpires for today's final. So we've got Jasmine Ward and Neve Galligan with Donna Plasmeyer as the reserve. You know, a real credit to these umpires for giving up their time to umpire this tournament over the long weekends. Um, I know a lot of people would rather have a break and get away, but you know, these umpires have worked really hard, quite often, you know, doing three games most days. Um, so it takes a toll on the body and mind, and, you know, these three umpires have been rewarded for their efforts throughout the week. And we're underway in the C grade final. Countess Monaco with the first centre pass taken by Stefan Matsiariki. Very experienced player for Counties at centre. Uh, former New Zealand mixed player from memory as well. And a good start for Countys Monaco, AJ Savilio with the first goal of the match. She's one player to watch out for in this final. She's a long bomb specialist and very, very smart with her movement in the circle. Kaya Tokoro will have to do very well to contain her today. Um, she could possibly be the difference in today's match. Great defensive pressure early on by Kani's Monaco. Both teams still finding their way, so we may see a few errors early on as teams are both quite tentative. But I'm sure it will start to open up and we'll see some lovely netball as the game progresses. Good pass by Phil to Ada Besley who misses the goal but very athletic. He will always go up for his rebounds and generally if he gets them it'll be a done deal with the follow-up shot. Looks like Senna was positioned incorrectly there, not fully in the circle. Naya 
Rabbit Tail took it over, get the first break of the final. Start by Nitel, took it over, 3 1 up. Another very experienced campaigner at wing attack there, Emmy Croft for Counties Monaco. She should help bring the ball down quite nicely. Very nuggety on defence as well. Testy early on in the goal circles, Mike. What do you think? I think so too. Mm. But definitely a nice, tight little battle happening inside that circle. Mm. With the change in some of the rules, especially around foul play and dangerous play, it'll be interesting to see what happens as this match progresses. It's been some beautiful contesting, but it looks also like there are times where players might not be contesting and are looking to tunnel. So it could get a little bit dangerous, so it's something to keep yeah. an eye on and how the players and the umpires will uh, adjust and react to it. Once again, a beautiful feed straight into that old shoot. Very vocal crowd here, especially for, um, I guess, the visitors, visitors from the far north. Looks like we've got the uh, 23s and their Masters teams also here, uh, supporting them from the side, as well as a lot of whānau who have travelled down from up north. It's great to see. And County Manukau strikes back. Good call there by umpire Ward. Nice footwork infringement. Counties need a little bit of a settler here. It's been a little bit of a shaky start. Uh, good shooter to shooter play there. Deflection there by Young up here in the goal circle. And this should be a formality for Savilio. And we're back to 5-4. No, Tao took it over with the one break lead at the moment. And with Young Utter in the goal circle all week, that seems to be the favoured players. Route one straight into the circle. Very young, very athletic, has a pretty good hold and can jump very high. Too much on that one out the back. Teams are still feeling their way into this match to some degree. Yep, good quick take and call by the umpire there allows play to continue. Very well done. And there we have it all. The score's nice and tight. After 
a strong start by the Northerners. We're back on serve. And County's here to take the lead. Good safe option there by Phil Penne. And finished. And looks like we've just got a straggler on the court. Ooh. Happened a few times this week. And play continues. Possibly a bit of a fumble there, but he got away with it. But good screen anyway to let the ball roll closer to the post. Unfortunately, he couldn't finish. And Naito Tokoro with the turnover. Such great commitment there from the, from the goal show. Coming all the way out there. A few bodies on the deck early on in this match. Does make for exciting viewing. Hopefully no one gets hurt from it, but been a very entertaining start. Everything you want to see in a final. It's great work there by the goal attack. Well set up. Such fantastic patience as they work that around to the edge. Entering the final minute of this quarter. Bit too much on the pass, but also needs to keep an eye on what the intent is of the goalkeeper going under the goal shooter. Looks a little bit dangerous to me. It is, it's all about adaptability at the moment when as players get get used to the new rules that have um, that are coming into play this season. Work. Very good call by the umpire Gallagher there. Quite easy to miss that as the ball goes off, but well spotted. County's capitalised. About five seconds left. I'm pretty sure the centre will hold the ball. Very, very clever. And after the first quarter in the C grade final, we are locked. It's all square at eight hall. Fantastic, entertaining start. What are your thoughts on the first quarter, Mike? I think it's been pretty entertaining to, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Very tight inside the circle. Both sides um, are equally contesting for the ball. A lot of patience around the edge, always looking for opportunities to feed into their shooters. We'll have a quick two, three minute break and we'll be back for the second quarter in a few moments. All right, welcome back for the second quarter in the C-grade final. If you've just joined us, it's a very tight and physical affair. It's currently eight all. Be interested to see what changes have happened uh, during the first quarter break. Can already see one for Naitai Tokoro, and it's probably a pretty good change by coach Al Baker. Looks like Danielle Depoff's come on at wing attack. Still very young, but pretty impressive resume. Spent time in the New Zealand secondary school setup as well as the uh, National Netball League. So this could be a very, very good change. Looking at County's Monaco, they look unchanged from what I can see. So they're trusting their, trusting their seven for now. We'll see how they go over the next few minutes. Good start by Corey there in goal shooter. I know this tournament will mean a lot to him and his team. It's a pretty emotional one for them. You know, with the passing of his beloved husband last year. I know that the team will be doing their utmost to, to make this tournament a memorable occasion for him. Mm. Looks like the umpire wants that set a, a metre or so back. 
Probably needs to keep an eye on the goalkeeper down this end, Antonio Jorge. I'm not, not too sure she's actually looking to contest the ball. But he played at the umpire in these situations. A bit short there. A bit short by Ataki Moana. And surprise, surprise, easy finish for goal attack. Looks like quite a lot of the attacking play for Naitao Tokoro revolves around their goal attack. Rowena, she's doing a fantastic job. County's Monaco have a little bit more experience, but their front four have played at this level of the game for such a long time. And there seems to be a bit of a telepathic understanding, um, but also a shared workload between the four of them. Again, another good shooter to shoot a play. Pretty good defensive pressure by Kanes Monaco mm. through the middle of the court. Um, they are clogging up the Naitao Tokoro midcourt. Everyone's getting quite congested and parallel and stuck. So we'll see if they can find some solutions to break free from this pressing zone. There by Rowena. Still remains a stalemate here, 12 all. Very high level match here. Oh, very clever. They'll get another opportunity here to put it away. there by Andre Banga. Probably not common to see him playing in the defensive circle. Mm -hmm. Traditionally known as a very, very strong midcourt or even a goal attack. Played in the New Zealand men's team for a long time, so it's good to see him back in the game after a few years away. And it's great that he brings that bit of experience inside that circle there to try and to make them think a little bit more about what options they're going to use to feed into that into their goal show. Exactly. Yep. A bit close there by the goal defender. And now counties get the break back, so they've got a two goal lead at 14 12. Good direct play there. Just such a strong understanding between this front line for counties, and there's a reason why they were undefeated in pool play. <laughs> Took a bit of a hit there, the young goal shooter, but he managed to collect the rebound and finish. Contest there by Phil Penny. Probably half a step off getting that. Well, keep his timing just slightly off a bit. Could have got that. 
And that's our first short pass off the final. Oh, Unforced area there by the goal defence, goes out of court. I was w w waiting to see how long it would be before the first short pass. You know, with these new rule changes, it is still a little bit of a grey area that teams and umpires alike have had to try and figure out throughout the week. Jasmine just taking her time setting the penalty in the correct space. Gives everyone a chance to breathe. out to a three goal lead, 16-13. Looks like we're just holding time as some spectators walk across to the far side. And we're good to go again. Nipple all around. Good hustle, good urgency. Instruction called there on both defenders mm, by nice the looks of it. Jasmine bringing a little bit of control underneath that circle. I mean, with the skill and experience of these players, you know, a game like this requires good control. And it's probably the biggest match of these umpires' short careers, and they've both done a exactly very good job that. to start. It's not easy out there. And they both look pretty calm and composed. And I think there's a reason why they've been put on this game. They've obviously been performing well all week. So real credit to them. And hopefully they can continue the strong start. Yeah. No. They're getting a bit stuck here in transition now, Tao Tokoro. Credit has to go to counties for the strong defensive setup they've got. Bit of line confusion there, out of court. Pressure on the shot and great rebound by the goal defence. So great work as a team there. And that's one of the better transitions from uh, Naitoa Tokoro today. A couple passes bang straight into the circle and great finish by the goal attack. They get the break back. It's now back on pass 17-16 to Counties Monaco. Just as I say that, they biff it out of court. Just a slight bit of miscommunication between the two. Great connections there. Oh, brilliant. AJ just brilliant works patience. Yeah. AJ just works a that little bit closer to the post. Not that she needs to, <laughs> but just increasing the percentages a little bit. <laughs> exactly. Andre doesn't look overly happy with that decision there. I think giving the ball earlier was probably the option there. Yeah, and Ada's shooting from a little bit further out. And that's the end of the quarter. What a tense second quarter that was, Zach. Oh, outstanding netball. This is fantastic to watch. I think it's the first game of the day that we're streaming. If all the other finals are like this, you're in for a treat of a day. Kia ora whanau, welcome back. Half time in the C grade final between Counties Monaco and Nai Tail Tokoro. Score is currently 18 17 to Counties Monaco. Looks like they remain unchanged at half time, Counties Monaco. They've got a very experienced seven on court. I don't see them making too many changes in this match. It seems to be working for them and they're going to rely on that experience. 
few changes for the other team. Looks like Wittemu is coming at centre and there's been a change at wing defence as well. I am expecting the intensity to, to pick up um, in the third quarter from both teams. Good take by Corey there. Bit of a misunderstanding thrown out the back and intercepted by the goalkeeper. And route one there, straight that to the goal shooter. Fantastic vision looking in there. Fantastic vision. And the North have taken the lead. 1918. Yep, good quick whistle there, allows play to continue. Oh. Well, there's that misunderstanding, but the wing attack, Danielle's onto it. She picks it up in the pocket. And the goal tap plays the front very nicely. And executes. She does. She's definitely the playmaker down the attacking end of the court for, for Natai Tokoro. They're relying heavily on her and will probably need to continue to do so. Bit naughty there by the wing defence, but play continues. And there's another one. And she's asking the questions once again. Yes. She's only just come onto the court, so she might need to be a little bit careful. Agree. Oh, great take. I didn't think there was enough on that pass. The goalkeeper wants to. Wants to take it, thinking that it was set. But the umpire's a bit too wise for that. 21 19 to the north. Great pressure for oh, the midfield. Great pressure. The diagonal pass didn't work out on this occasion. Can they make oh, can they make the most of it? And yes they can. Three goal lead now with the centre pass. Very strong start to this quarter by the north. They're riding the wave of this massive support they've got here this morning. Good strong take there by Hey Hey at goalkeeper. This, I was going to say this could be the settler, but the goal defence comes up with the second intercept. And I'll finish by out of there. Looks like there may be one slight change for Carnes Monaco. I think the goal, sh the two shooters have just switched positions. Corey is now playing out the front at goal attack. Finish. Score is 23 20 to Nataya Tokoro. And route one again. Just a slight bit of a mismatch down there. Yeah. Uh, looks like they've made a change. Jackson Reed's coming at goal attack. Jackson's a bundle of energy, very athletic, very agile. So it looks like they're looking for a bit more movement down this end now. Good seal there by AJ. And she finishes. 24-21. Once again, ever so reliable. Yeah, I think it was a hard mismatch. 
Yeah, as long as they get enough of an arc on that pass, it seems like it's on every time. Either needs to be a bad pass or mm. probably a little bit of gamesmanship there in the circle for the goalkeeper to have a chance at the moment. Good late entry there by Jackson. Drew one of the defenders off and that allowed the pass over the top to AJ. Good set up there by Counties. As we speak, it looks like they have changed the defensive end. They've just switched Dre and Antonio around. So I guess they've identified the same issue here, Mike. Got a bit of an issue here, a bit of a body clash. Ring attacks on the ground looks a bit sore. And the oh, centre. Oh, three passes. Oh. We have another technical change here. No, oh, it looks like Stefan's been suspended for two minutes for dangerous play. Mm. I've seen a few suspensions here this week with the new rules, and it's something that players need to adjust to. Um, the governing body of World Netball are wanting to take dangerous play a lot more seriously. When we have suspensions, ideally we don't want it to be the centre because that creates a few issues. A player on court has to move into the centre position. So. In this case, it looks like Emmy Croft has moved into the centre position. But we have a turnover and another baby on the court. It's all happening here this morning. Mm. Well, read again by the goal defence. I think that's three in this quarter. He didn't quite get that one, but he's definitely seeing them. A movement here by counties. Yeah, the Lord, yes, the Lord are playing a lot of um, defensive pressure in that middle, making it very hard for counties to make it through that middle. Goal defense has had an outstanding quarter, and he's probably a large reason why they've now got a full goal lead after being down by one at half time. I think that's three games and another deflection. Great start. And that's out the back. And once again, there's the North just applying mm -hmm. so much pressure. It's just amazing the differences made without a wing attack. Just, you know, that one less player in the front court having to work so much harder or sort of take the other option and just go long and hope that it pays off and on this occasion it didn't. Mm. It looks like Stefan's about to come back on. He's got the wing attack bib on but when he comes on he should have to change back to centre. Tag doesn't look too happy. One of those 50-50 that looked like she rolled around the front on the open side and got a deflection, but she may have talked the player on the, in the process. County is just looking a little bit frustrated here. Things haven't really gone their way in this quarter. And that Stefan's now back on at wing attack. So they're back to their full complement of seven players. Pretty sure he needs to go back into the position he was suspended in, but I could be wrong here. But play continues nonetheless. It's getting a little bit testy out there. I think the umpires just need to take strong control, control here. You know, the last two minutes of this quarter could be very crucial in the outcome of this game. They just need to keep their heads, keep composed, just like the players will need to as well.
score is 27-23 to Tara Tokoro. Yeah. A little bit too much on that one. A strong drive there by Widamu at the throw-in. Unlucky there, I thought, on the goal shooter. Looked like he went up to contest, and the goalkeeper was never really looking to contest that ball, but we carry on. Mm. <laughs> Approaching the final minute of this quarter or thereabouts. Once again, the Norths go to the ever-reliable goal shooter. Oh, good pick up there by the goal defence. It's been the player of the quarter in my books. I think that may be his fifth gain of the quarter. Thought she was going to shoot, but she pops it. there inside by the goalkeeper. This might be the this might be the last shot of the quarter. She's running out of time. The goal attack's probably going to have to take it now. Yep. Oh, she ran out of time. Slight miscommunication. Just a lack of clock awareness there. Too much time setting the penalty. She probably needed to pop the shot. But nonetheless, a very good quarter from Naito Tokoro. 28-24 with 10 minutes left. All right, welcome back everyone. We're just about to start the final quarter of the C grade final. Now, Tayo Tokoro 28 to Countess Monaco 24. Doesn't look like there's been too many changes here. I do see Stefan has moved back to the center position. Oh, great tip by Andre Fanga there at goalkeeper. A bit unlucky there on any Very clock unlucky. There. I think the, uh, the reset just slightly came past and there was a little bit of interference for play there. Well finished by Rowena, a goal attack. 29-24. As I said earlier, Mike, if all of the finals following this are of this standard, oh, we're going to have a fantastic day of netball today. It's the best free netball you ever see in your life. Oh. Sorry, I missed what happened there. I was busy looking at some of my notes. <laughs> But we'll continue. Yes. Good try there by the goal defence. Not too far off, but I like the fact he's giving it a crack. Worked very well for him and his team in the third quarter. Bit of a settler there for counties. 29 26 now. And they have the centre pass. As well. Decent sized crowd who have come to watch this game. Right idea, just execution wasn't goal quite there. The goal shooter set up some pretty good space. Messy period there, but saved well enough. There's a lot of on 
ball pressure by counties and North are finding it a little bit hard to, to penetrate in their defensive end, but that's a bit better from them. And well finished. So they got the break back, and it's their centre pass. Actually tried to take it quickly, but umpire makes them set it. Well cleaned up by the goal shooter. Got possession there, no interference deemed by the umpire. So what a more call for footwork. I think he was expecting the call there. So it didn't stick his landing. But as they say, you always play to the whistle. Got another suspension here, this time it's the goal defence. All I can assume is he must have said something to the umpire, Mike, because I don't think he was involved in the play. Yes, I think there was just a little bit of an exchange there between himself and oh. Jasmine, and she just went no. In the meantime, good deflection by Jackson Reed. They desperately need this break here, counties. It's getting very testy in and around that circle. I think everyone just needs to keep their composure here. Probably a little bit of an experience here by the goal defence. They had a good lead. There was no need for him to get involved in that. Finished by Jackson there, 31-28. They've clawed one or two back counties. So we're halfway through the final quarter. There's three in it. Didn't think that passes on, but it somehow got there. Mm. Bit of desperation, but it's been working for them most of the day. in the circle here. Oh, we're getting... The Something. players just need to settle down a bit. The mm. umpire's trying to assert a little bit of control around the middle there. Yeah, looks like we had a contact before the centre pass was taken mm. there. Oh, she's been very reliable with that high high speed into the into the circle there. Oh, to be young and to be able to jump that high. Oh. During that time, it looks like the goal defence is back out there, so they're back to their full complement of seven players. Good strong take there by AJ. Goalkeeper looks a bit disappointed with herself. It's one of those moments where it's, I'm not sure if it's better to have the lead or be chasing. <laughs> it can be the tendency to try and be conservative when you've got a lead and hold it. I think the best play for um, Tyler Tokoro at the moment would be to keep doing what they're doing. Yeah, bit close there by the goalkeeper. No, she wants that penalty set. I 
think the goalkeeper knows who it is, but she's trying her luck there. <laughs> well done to the umpire for getting her out of play. Two on one, and they still find him. Great vision there. And well finished. That's just fantastic communication between the midi and their goal shoot. Got a couple minutes to go here, and we've got a full goal lead. Is there enough time for Counties to claw this back? Meanwhile, the defence chant has started with the Northland supporters. Route one again. They keep doing that. I don't think there's any way back for yeah. counties. And we've got a bit of a uh, wet floor here. You know, bodies on the line. Everyone's been playing hard. There'll be a bit of sweat on the court. Important to get this wiped up. We don't want to see any injuries in the last minute. Also gives everyone a chance to just breathe and relax. Mm. Reserve umpire Donna doing the duties here. And we're good to go. Oh, good pick up, good pass. And break a pass. I think that's going to be enough to get them home. Be a great achievement for Nato Tokoro. Made their debut appearance last year at Men's Nationals, and this is their debut appearance at the Mixed Nationals, and it looks like they're going to walk away with the first title. The obstruction there at the line. It's all waiting up time, though. Send a pass of the match. Are they going to do what they've done all day? Yes, they are. Oh, oh no. no. Goal attack wasn't expecting it. And she takes the last honour of the match. I'll score the last goal of the match. And there we well have it, Fano. Win. Well Fantastic first final of the morning here at the Mixed Nationals. Final score 39 33 to Natayo Tokoro. They've been a solid team all week. Mind you, both of these teams have been. The score didn't go their way during round robin, but they've obviously gone away, reassessed, and they've just mm. grown throughout the week. And when it mattered most in the final, they've delivered. And they should be extremely proud, as both teams should be, of their efforts over the four days. So that wraps it up here from the Seagrave final. I hope you enjoyed this game and there's still many more to come. I think the next final is starting at quarter past 11. Uh, on behalf of Zach and Mike, we'd like to say thanks for listening to us and we'll catch you around in a few minutes for the next final.